he wants to be noticed. Don't they all? In the spring of 1833, Harriet and two friends crossed over the river into neighboring Kentucky. She had never before visited a slave state. We have this fine specimen here. What do you get? 25. 25? 50? We got 50 going once. 50 going twice. 50 sold to the gentleman here. How you gentlemen doing this nice warm Kentucky day? Gotta keep this thing going. What Stowe sees there is a human thing. She sees these people. I mean, they're human beings. She's confronted with it in such an intimate way. And I think that never leaves her. Harriet Beecher Stowe, who's probably one of the best known um, uh, abolitionists because she wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin, was a young mother who lost her son and her, her, her son Charlie died um, of cholera. And it, she kind of connected that loss, her loss of her child, with a slave mother's loss of their children. And she wrote the book that really changed the hearts and minds of many Americans because she put um, slavery in really human terms. She really humanized the experience of slavery for Amer many Americans and, and ch really won over people um, in, in, in writing that book. Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin um, shortly after one of her children had passed away. Um, but she had been sort of, it had been bubbling in her for quite a while. And after her son passed away, she poured all of that emotion and life and energy into the book. I think she said that she didn't even feel as though she was writing it. She felt like somebody else was sort of giving her this message to put onto the page. Hopefully people who watch the show will take away from it the sense that she was a real person and that I think it's easy for the humanity of historical figures to sort of get lost over the course of time, but that she was just an ordinary woman who was able to create a piece of art that then genuinely had an effect on the world.